All right, Aries, let's get into a no contact for you. Please keep an open mind. This could be someone that you're crazy about or this could be someone you don't care about, okay? Friendly reminder, if you need anything from me, you can get it at my website. All right, so whoever you're in no contact with, there is something here to do with timing not being right. Someone could have an addiction, where whether it's an actual addiction, this could be an addiction on how someone wants life to turn out. This could just be a perspective. We're gonna dig more into it. Someone here is longing though. Someone here is in an energy of yearning and even maybe thinking about taking some sort of action, okay? So, let's see. <clears throat> How's this person feeling for you? They're feeling really conflicted. You and this person could be on different pages. You guys could just really not be seeing eye to eye right now. This person has a lot of good thoughts about you, but in the same sense, they have bad thoughts about you. This could be someone that you classify as a soulmate. This could be someone where you guys can't seem to get on the same page. You guys can't seem to see eye to eye, but there's also nothing ending or transforming. Yeah, someone here's got desire. Okay, so someone here's got desire, but the conflict, the disagreements, and the lack of a change triumphs desire. <clears throat> So this person could desire to have something grow with you, but you guys could have an energy here where you're having a hard time getting on the same page and there's not actual shifts that are taking place. How does this person view you? As someone who's maybe not necessarily the happiest right now, they could view you as someone who's discontent. You could be bored. They could view you as someone who's kind of in like a tantrum energy. No, I don't want that. I want what I want, and I want what I want, period. That could be how this person's viewing you, okay? <clears throat> they could be viewing you as someone that either sneaks away from growth or someone that cannot necessarily be trusted. Now, here's the thing. Just because that's how they feel doesn't mean that that's actual reality. Sometimes our perspective and reality can be different. But this person could feel... Like you have the tendency to sneak away from things that can grow and expand. Mainly because you're in a place of not really looking at the magic in your life, but you're looking at everything that's going wrong. And because of that, you're not feeling really fulfilled. You're not feeling really happy and enthused. Some of you, that could be the addiction. If the addiction is you, you could need to be conscious and aware that you could have this certain mind frame mindset on how you think life should look how it should be and you could be so addicted or so set in that that it could be really putting a damper on the good things in your life this is what i tell my clients my friends everyone if you're too busy looking at what you don't have you're going to overlook the amazing things if you're too busy going oh my god someone stole my lip gloss but you got a whole 12 pack of lip gloss i mean yes yeah, sucks that someone stole one and it was your favorite but let's look at what we do have. We got a whole other pack. The universe has blessed you with a full pack. There you go. Recognizing that minor inconveniences and disappointments in life and heartbreak in life should not be the reason that you stop moving forward, okay? So this is either you or them, but I feel like this is how this person's viewing you. What does this person want with you? They want some sort of balanced foundation. They want... This person could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo that we're bringing in. It could be someone who's just very stubborn. This person's trying to manifest some sort of dynamic here. They want you guys to be partners. They want some sense of consistency from this foundation with you. And this person's really set in it, so much so that they're kind of stubborn. No, I've got my own prize. I don't care if there's a bigger prize. I don't care if there's a better prize. That's the prize I want. This person could really be thinking about it a lot, manifesting it, trying to put all their power, their effort, their energy into it. But I am seeing, although that it might be getting there, it's moving very slowly. 
Yes, yeah, someone here is hoping and wishing. So you got a wisher, wisher, wisher on a star. Someone's wishing for collaboration and a reunion. Someone's wanting, giving, and receiving. But someone here could offer love from a place of convenience, which could be the reason why this relationship isn't going anywhere. Because again, <clears throat> if we go back to the conflicted energy, okay, well, you want this, I want this. We're not seeing eye to eye, which means there can't be major change and transformation. Because if I want one thing and you want another, we can put horses on the front of this this uh, carriage, but it's going to go this way. It's kind of like if you go on a trip with your best friend. If you want to go to one state and they want to go to another, you can't be in both places at once. That lack of being able to get on the same page has made it to where this relationship can evolve. There's desire on both sides for this to evolve, but one person's really stuck in a rut, okay? I am seeing someone wants for something to be balanced, but someone showing up in a way that was not transparent could have ruined any future prospect of this taking place okay so what's going to end up happening here i see a wounded energy i see someone's needing to heal someone could be planning for the future looking at the future okay so someone here is needing to heal aries this could be you or this could be the person attached to your energy someone here is needing to heal don't stop believing hold on to the feeling not a bad feeling though. A lot of you have been through the mud. You've been through hell, but you need to quit remembering all the battles that you've went through that you've conquered. You wear those like armor. Don't wear those as constant reminders of what you might go through again. You don't know if you're gonna go through that again. And if you do, you have the tools that you need to handle it better this time around. You know the saying, lightning don't strike the same place twice. Just because you think something's going to take place doesn't mean it's going to. I see here in the far future, someone could get to maybe a stuck or a stalemate energy. Someone could end up having to take some downtime to get a changed perspective, whether this is you or them. And I think it's going to realign someone to their wish fulfillment. Let's see what this person wants with you. And if they plan on taking any action. What does this person want with you? And do they plan on taking any action? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Someone here is disappointed. Oh, damn. Damn. Someone here is disappointed. Someone here is very disappointed. Because there's no offer here. Seeing it clearly. Completing a cycle and deciding to be done. Is that you or them? I do see that you and this person might end up coming across each other's path in the far future. So what's going to end up happening, Aries, is either you or the person you're energetically connected to one of you is going to end up saying, okay, this ain't it, and you're going to take yourself out of it. Now, whoever that is, the reason that person's taking theirself out of it is because they're disappointed. I think that they had to be really honest with themselves about this disappointment, but it has everything to do with the fact that there is lack of emotion or even lack of an offer. Now, I do see that this person might apologize to you in the future, or you might apologize to them. There could be an apology that's going to take place in the future around some sense of sadness and disappointment. But I feel like right now, both of you could be at a place of needing to do deep self-reflection around your home life, around maybe marriage and what that looks like for you and if you even want it. And if it's not marriage, what do you want in a dynamic? Do you want a dynamic? Do you want to be alone? Do you want to be alone because you're scared of getting close to someone? Because what I'm saying is that you need to do a lot of deep self-reflection about what would be best for you. If you could make the perfect partner or the perfect person, what would that look like? So you guys going in a no contact and taking time apart, I think is really helping you both get aligned to what you want your home to look like, what you want it to feel like. And what does that look like? Do I want a castle? Do I want it to be empty or full of people? 
Do I want a balanced union? Do I want to be the balanced union? What does that look like? Now, again, I do see that either you or this person connected to you got very disappointed around the fact that something lacked emotion. And it could be because this po this potion, this person indulged emotion because they wanted something to grow. This person could be recognizing that they feel really burdened around the fact that they're trying to make something balanced and they feel that you don't. How do you feel? Or how do they feel? How do you, we're gonna ask you. You feel like you're stuck. You either feel like this is a stalemate and you don't wanna go any further with this person or you feel like you're in a place of your life where you're stuck, you can't take action, and that this is a moment for you to change your perspective and to plan for the future. And a relationship might not be it. Now, if that's the case, I would recommend you tell this person that, hey, I know you want this, but that's not where I'm at. And it's not because I'm trying to be mean. It's not because I'm trying to be vicious. It's just because that's not my priority. Yeah, I see you may be working a lot or someone here working a lot. I see a lot of celebrations. I see leaps happening, risks happening. Okay, so be careful of partying too much. I do see you working. I see you putting a lot of effort, dedication, and time into your, your craft, your life. Be careful of partying a lot. Be careful of drinking a lot. Be careful of getting involved with more than one or two people because I'm seeing a lot of people here. And I'm seeing that if you're not careful, you could get yourself in some sort of collaboration that's going to end up in a really harsh ending that's even going to make you... Be careful of putting yourself in situations or predicaments that could end up blowing up and completely crumbling your life. So, I mean, what they're showing me is like when people get involved with people and they don't really know who they are, and in their mind, this is just fun, this is just passion, I don't really want anything with them. Well, if the other person doesn't know, they might come out of character real quick, and they might show up at your job, they might show up at your home, they might show up in ways that you never expected, but it's going to affect your life. You might end up getting fired because so-and-so keeps calling, now they're vandalizing cars, now they're acting in a way that's going to make people look at you and go, why are you taking leaps on people when you don't even know who they are? You're just act out here acting like a fool. What is happening? And it could really even shine a lot on your values, your morals, and your belief systems. Not to say that people are gonna judge you, but I think it's just making sure that who you allow into your life or into your inner circle, whether it's someone that's there for a night or someone that's there for forever, that you can trust that they're not going to try to come into your life and blow it up with a bomb. Now, again, I am saying that there is going to be a really harsh ending that takes place. So be careful of getting involved with multiple, multiple, multiple people, taking a leap, being risky, and ending things that you don't want to end. Now, this could be a lover. Let's say that you're out, you're dating multiple people. There could be one of them that you really, really, really like, but you're out there taking leaps, you're taking risks, you're just living life. Well, the one that you really, really, really like might take their self out of the running. And then you might be unsure whether or not, one, you're acting in a way that shows your true character, but two, what a, wait a minute, did I just lose the one that I wanted to marry? I don't know, did I? So for each of you, it's gonna look different. You're gonna know your circumstances better than I am. So if you are showing up in the way where you have a lot of people kind of in rotation, they don't know what's going on, you might find that you got yourself into a mess with someone who's a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, okay? Be careful with that. And I am seeing that if you're not careful, they could end up bringing some sort of ending in your life. Vandalizing something, damaging something. I mean, when I say cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, it's the kind of person where you're like, what the hell did I invite into my life, okay? Now let's see how this person is again feeling for you. What does this person, how does this person, what is this person, I don't know. Oh, this person, oh, this is so sad. This person was really addicted to having some sort of new beginning with you. And it's feeling like you were the emotional fulfillment. You were the mega, the mega lottery. 
they felt like with you, they hit the jackpot and they felt so addicted with getting this to work out in their favor that it really is a bummer that it isn't. <sighs> Damn, that really sucks. I feel bad for that person. Okay, so, I mean, I think you, you and this person might end up coming across one another's path. It's going to be up to you whether or not you want it to go somewhere. I am seeing that you have maybe thought about reaching out to this person or talking to them, but you're also worried because there's a lot of confusion or illusion. I'm seeing that whoever this is is very balanced. So if you want to reach out to this person, I personally don't think that they're going to be like mean and vindictive they might not be very vulnerable because this star car is usually naked but i have um i drew clothes on her because youtube likes to ban me for that so this person's actually going to be really kind but they might not want to invest in this in a way that you're hoping for so they might be okay with being like yeah good how are you and you'd be like yeah i've been great da, 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 da. They might not text back after that. It might be something small, something simple until you make your intentions known because they don't want breadcrumbing. They want something balanced. They want something fair. So unless you're willing to come in with something that seems balanced and fair, I'm seeing that you can reach out. I'm seeing that you're hopeful. I'm seeing that you might lose sleep about it. You might worry, okay, what were they gonna say if I reach out? Would they respond? They will respond, but I'm also seeing that it might not get off the ground. It might be just like a, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Great, that's awesome. That's about it, okay? Just because this person's at a place where they're making head over heart choices. I'm not gonna let my heart guard me into a place time and time and time again where I've seen time and time and time again that it, it's not right for me to be here. This isn't in my best interest. Okay, so, I mean, just be aware of that. You're on this person's mind, but what you wanna take place is gonna be up to you. I'm going to leave it here. See you tomorrow.